Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. My name is Steve, otherwise known as Pin, and today we're going to talk about mining, the future of mining, and one ship in partic particular, which would be, of course, the RSI Orion, which is what most of this video will be about. Now, I enjoy mining, okay? Lots of people enjoy mining. It's very lucrative, it's very high risk, very high reward. It has, until recently, been a fairly polished affair to go mining. Um, there are multiple options for us. We have a Grey Cat Rock, okay, which is a great little vehicle. There's two variants of that to uh, zip around in and go hit up those little gems that you've been trying to pick up. We got the FPS variant of mining, okay, not quite as lucrative, but nothing to turn your nose up at. We can go to various locations, freezing our ass off in cold places or sweating our bollocks off in hot places. It makes no odds because mining offers so many variables and something different to do there's even a multiplayer mining ship already in the game the argo mole which is absolutely fantastic ship um to um mine with your friends that's really good um had a lot of fun it's very chill in the mole as long as you're not getting harassed by pirates and things like that it does happen it's happened to me but i will never pay i'll go down swinging um and of course, with 317 on the horizon, we are going to get some mining gadgets to allow us to hit these bigger rocks. Because in the game at the moment, these bigger rocks are just not being cracked by our little prospectors and moles. Sad noises, I know. However, when will we see a ship like the Orion? And it's not going to be for a while. Let's just get things straight, straight out of the bat, shall we? So... We are almost certainly going to need server meshing and a few more systems before we can even begin to talk about um, the Orion in more depth. It's kind of um, a tricky ship to get details on. It's very sort of wrapped in a blanket of questions rather than answers. But we will do our best because, like I said, mining is highly enjoyable and most people have dabbled in it. Veteran or a new player. At some point, you have almost certainly dabbled in mining. Even if you've been to prison, mining is a way to get you out. So there's a very good game loop here, but we need a bit more, I think. Now, as you can see, there are some bloody big rocks floating in space, taunting us. Like, bring it. You can't crack me. Okay. Now, when we're out on our travels in and around the verse, let's say we're in Pyro or Nyx. And we're exploring, we come across a rock that is rich with minerals that we can't crack because we're in a prospector. But, have no fear, because in the future, we will have a super monster toy that will be able to bitch slap these rocks. And that is the RSI Orion. Okay, the Orion. I think we can all agree it looks really, really cool. Um, and it is going to be an absolute monster. The size of this thing is... Pretty big, but we'll come on to that later. Let's get into then some of my thoughts and theories on the RSI Orion. Okay, so this ship is still in concept phase and it's been around forever from what I've been reading and trying to research. It's pretty much been at the start of Star Citizen in concept. It's been white box, but there it sits gathering dust at the moment. However, who knows? When server meshing arrives and we get one or two few more systems, we might be seeing this sooner than we think. I'm not gonna, because I know someone's gonna go, no, no, you're you're delusional. 2050, 2050, that'll be out. You know what? You're probably right, but I can only hope. You know, you can't blame me. I'm only human. Jesus, right? Um, so it's a ship I'm personally looking forward to. I don't own one. I think it's a ship I'm gonna buy in game. I couldn't tell you the price. If I had to guess, I'd say it's probably going to be about the same as an 890 jump, right? Or even more, because for me, this ship is sort of the ultimate money-making machine. This will devour anything it comes across, okay? And there's a lot of potential here with this particular vessel, and I am very much looking forward to its arrival, however distant that might be. Um, so let's start off by trying to get a sense of scale. So here we have the Orion sort of parked. 
Now, I don't believe it has landing gear. I don't believe we can bring this planet side, and I don't think we'll be able to mine planet side. Jury's out on that yet. But underneath, you can see the tiny, tiny, cute, adorable little prospector. And if you look really closely, you can just see in front of the prospector three teeny, tiny humanoids. So this thing is absolutely massive. Okay, it's designed to take on these big asteroids that we can't crack at the moment and devour them like it was nothing. Um, it does have an internal storage and external, as you can clearly see here, with multiple lasers and tractor beams. There's a little bit of confusion as to what's what, but we'll come on to that. Um, a few turrets, um, four to seven man crew, double that always double it because you're not always going to be up 24 hours so let's say 14 to be safe that would be my guesstimate um, but it is a very interesting looking ship now as you can see it has a preci precision laser cutter on a telescoping arm telescoping arm a scanner array primary cockpit bridge we have like a separate bridge forward stroke cockpit um, for op um, operating different tractor beams and lasers there is a little bit of confusion there as to what it's actually going to come with we have the cargo containers we have drone docking bays times four so it's just i mean tractor beams four question mark now it's listed there's two options from what i've read okay you see we're going to have one very powerful mining laser and four tractor beams or two mining lasers and two tractor beams so until it's here i don't know but i personally would prefer the two mining lasers one with full power and just another one to steady it depending on what size lasers it gets because it is a bigger ship um i think i read somewhere it might get size twos i'm gonna dismiss that that's just it's got to have bigger lasers it's got to it's 340 meters this vessel it's huge okay it was originally 170 so it got a massive massive size increase um okay well in regards to the storage of the ship obviously we have the external storage which we know is for the refined ore which is very useful the ship does also have internal storage um but we don't know the scu for that so there's no sort of where well, at least I couldn't find any information regarding that. Um, the refinery can um, filter out inert materials, which is extremely useful. Um, again, we'll need more information on 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 sort of how effective that refinery is going to be. Now I imagine because they've increased the size by quite a lot, um, originally being 170 meters, and that refinery is going to be quite big itself, and I'm hoping that it'll be all-encompassing, and you won't have to go to space stations or whatever. Um, I'm sure this ship will be able to mine Contanium. Why wouldn't it? Uh, the question is, would it do it safely? Um, would it be able to make that Contanium, refine it nicely, store it without it going bang? Um, I hope so. I don't see why not. I, I think that is probably going to be a thing and like I said this ship if it is farming quantanium 348 SCUs of pure quantanium you are going to be rich people will know that though and I would not dare if I owned this ship take it out by myself even with an NPC crew um, because Although 99% of the time I'm a nice law-abiding citizen, if I ever see an Orion out by itself, it's getting boarded. Um, you better believe that, because this ship will carry a lot, and I mean megatons of cash. Um, I strongly advise that this ship is used in an org with escorts, um, and I do see a lot of potential here with the external cargo, right? I think it would work well with the whole C-series. Um, in fact, any of the whole series, even the Banu Merchantman, um, would make a great addition alongside this ship to take the cargo away. You could have a, um, a little escort with the uh, Banu Defender um, inside the Merchantman. I think those two could work well, but it is a very high profit, high risk 
to have this by itself and not in the fleet, you're asking for trouble because the amount of cash this thing generates is going to have a big target on its back, especially from uh, my point of view. If I see one alone, I'm going after it, I'm boarding it, and I'm taking that money, yo. So, definitely not a ship you want to use by itself. Um, now, in terms of landing planet side, like I said, I couldn't find anything regarding that. Maybe you could mine planet side, but I can't imagine it would be particularly maneuverable. The tractor beams are there to sort of... Because the ship's going to be incredibly sluggish and slow. The idea is that those tractor beams would be able to ping a particular rock, bring it to the nose of the craft, and then chew it up with those cogs at the front that you can see there after cracking it with the laser. Maybe the drones are out there to drag rocks into the mining area of the ship. Um, there's a lot to talk about regarding the drones. I'll talk about that later. So when it comes to the ship's own defense, it only has two size 5 turrets. I would like to see some more slapped on there. Not size 5 necessarily, maybe two, two more size 3 turrets to help against defensive, uh, defending against those pesky fighters um, and those pirate gladiuses because um, it's quite hard to hit fighters with size 5 turrets. I'm not saying it can't be done, but it'd be a hell of a lot easier if we had um, the relevant sized turrets. Um, I do think the ship is going to be epic working alongside like the whole series and BMM. Logistical support is going to be very important. Um, if you own this, you're in an org, you're going to have to think about that. Distance travelled, where you're taking it to. There's a lot to sort of um, dream up on how you're going to operate this thing. Um, where it's going to be most effective. How you're going to transport that valuable, valuable um, ore that you spent a lot of time cracking open. Um, moving on then, let's take a look at the inside. So they referred to this element of the ship as the funnel. Um, and you can see it's very, 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 very long. It goes straight down the center of the ship. Um, but looking at these images, it's actually looks fairly comfortable. You wouldn't think so from looking out the outside. It's all mean and rugged and rrr. inside, different story. Typical sort of RSI styling, nice and clean, but utilitarian, you could say. Very early days, but judging from what we can see here, fairly comfortable. So here we have size comparison. This is the ship when it was first sort of dreamt up next to a Connie. That's 170. And then we have the massive increase in size. And it's just a whole new animal. You know, 340 meters. It is an absolute beast. And without a doubt will be the biggest mining ship in the verse thus far. Um, and I look forward to uh, seeing what else they can dream up in the mining field. Alright, let's talk a little bit about drones and what they might do. There's a lot of theory craft here because there's no specific answer. I would like to think that these drones are maybe going out to grab bits of rock that you've mined and you don't want them to escape. That's one very common sort of assumption that most people will have, I believe. Um, the other thing I thought about is we're mining asteroids. Sometimes they're going to be in asteroid fields. The ship is bound to, at some point, take damage, right? It could be a meteor shower. It could be all sorts of manner of things. And to have these drones um, could be extremely useful when it comes to repairing the ship, checking for damage, etc. Um, Again, very vague on what they're going to do, but they're just some of the theories I, I sort of dreamt up. Um, by all means, if you have some, let me know in the comments. Um, so, this is one of these ships that I found very difficult difficult to sort of research because it's, it's shrouded in a layer of just secrecy, you know? <laughs> well, not necessarily secrecy, but very sort of... Um, wrapped in a shroud of mystery is is how I describe it. I'm, I'm very much looking forward to this ship. So here we have some of the details for anyone that was interested and wanted to see what was what. Um, you could pause this at any point of course to have a look. Um, it's all sort of very basic and a lot of to be confirmed 
Okay guys, that's gonna wrap up my video on the RSI Orion. It is a great ship and has the potential to be awesome. I do think it's gonna be the backbone of many mining organizations, um, but we won't see it for a while, that's for sure. Um, probably a year, two years, three years, wherever it'll be, it'll be a very long time before we see it. Um, but I am interested to hear from you. Do you own one? How would you use it? How are you going to protect it? How would you transport the cargo from said ship to go make money with it? How many people are you going to have protecting it? Would you use it with NPCs? All, all interesting theories we can talk about this ship for hours and hours, or I certainly could. Um, so yeah, very, very interesting ship indeed. I am looking forward to hearing from you. Thank you for your patience. I know it took a, a while for this video to arrive because life keeps kicking me in the nuts at the moment. Hopefully, content will be more regular now that everything seems to settle down a little bit we should have more content coming on the regular so thank you very much for watching guys um if you did enjoy today's video you know what buttons to press and i will have more star citizen content en route to your location very soon hopefully thank you very much guys take care cheers